Welcome to this video on swing trading strategies. We're going to focus on how to have a high probability trend signal and when that trend is going to end. This is a market geometry pattern that works very, very well. And you can use it for day trading as well, but um, really I find that it works tremendously for swing trading using daily charts, weekly charts, monthly charts. And you can use it for stocks, forex, futures, commodities. I've got um, this stock up here, Tesla. So here's what we do. It's actually pretty simple, but I'm going to show you a few extra little tips here. So I'm using TradeStation, and your trading software will probably look a little different if you don't have TradeStation. But we go up to the drawing tools, and you'll see we've got all these different drawing tools here. So I go to Regression Channel, click on that, and then I click on a high. I'm going to click on the highest bar there. Then you get a near, get it just right there we go and then drag it down to now here's one of the things I want to show you so let's say on the hard right edge of the screen we see that as the closest uh, bar alrighty so then as you can see it draws these lines and it's got it kind of um, well it just kind of goes across the market like this where um, we can see that there's boundaries and let's look at what those boundaries look like. So I'm going to format this, going to format. And what I use is I use a standard deviation of two. So for both the upper and the lower channel, I don't actually draw the mid channel or midline, the actual regression line. You could do that if you want to. You just click here in this box and it'll draw it for you. Um, I, I don't tend to do that, but that's certainly possible if you want to change your colors and everything. But that's the basic idea is that we are looking for the market to uh, increase in volatility outside of a regression channel of a 2% standard deviation. And that is a pretty good number to use. That's the one that I always use. So as long as it stays in there, now you'll see obviously here we get, um, we approach breaking out here and here, but it never actually breaks completely out. The first time it breaks out is right here, and then it retraces back down, and then it goes up. So here it pierces, I call this a pierce instead of a break, and the real distinction there is that you've got to allow the market a little bit of wiggle room um, for uh, standard error that uh, it might make. It's not really even error, you just uh, the markets are not that uh, pinpoint accurate. So sure, we'll give it a little room, but basically we're seeing here, uh, we want to see a retrace back down outside of, or in this case, on top of the regression channel and then move in the opposite direction. So that's really what we're looking for. Here it puts in highs, but it comes right back down. Here it puts in a high, it comes right back down. Here it comes, it puts in a high, but stays outside of the re regression channel. That's the key. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, let's take a look at another one. All right, so this is the same chart and we're gonna just do another one here. Go up to our drawing tools, choose regression channel, we're going to start with the lowest bar. It doesn't really matter where you touch the bar. Um, and then we'll go to the highest one there. Got to click again. Notice how far the, the channels are away from price action. See, it's really given it a lot of room to move there, the wiggles, the ups, the downs. And that's good. It's two standard deviations. So that's what we want. And then it comes back down. And now what's interesting here, and this is very, very important. So it, let me draw my arrows here for you again. So in this case, we had what happened, what I told you before. It broke down, came back up. It didn't quite stay below it, it touched it, and, um, and then it went back down, but it did break outside. So here you would have a little, um, basically a scalp kind of trade if you wanted to take that. Uh, it comes back up and then, but it stays outside of them and goes back down again. I'm gonna to have to take my arrows off of there, otherwise well, let me show you what happened. Okay, and now it just kind of goes sideways for a while and then it continues to go down. So the reason I'm showing you this is that I want to show you that this is a more of a big picture, broad stroke type of indication. And I wouldn't even really consider it an indicator. You're just mapping 
a uh, certain south, um, percentage of um, mathematical variance that you're allowing the markets to make in their wiggles as they move up in the wiggles that they move down. And generally, if they break that level of volatility, something significant is happening and it can then change the long-term direction of the market. But it's not going to help you to pinpoint with precise accuracy exactly where you should get in or exactly where you should get out. So that's one thing you need to add uh, another type of indicator or combination of indicators, price patterns, whatever you like to trade with, in order to then choose the precise place where you want to take those trades. But it is very good at um, helping you to see the trend while still allowing the market its gyrations that are normal. By the way, if you're interested in the indicator that I use personally for precise, very precise entries and exits, I'm happy to share that with my YouTube subscribers. Just subscribe to the YouTube channel and then um, just send me an email there at barry at topdogtrading.com and I'll show you how to get access to that indicator. Well, if you like this video, please understand, sure, it's free, it's here on YouTube, but if you got value from it, you actually have a moral obligation to pay it forward by clicking on that beautiful little share button below and share it with other traders. In addition, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the thumbs up icon and leave a comment. I really love your comments. It encourages me to create more free tutorials for you. Of great significance, I'm giving away one of my favorite trade strategies. It's called the rubber band trade, and it has a very high win-loss ratio. I take this trade every time it sets up, still to this day. It's a pretty simple trade. I'll teach it to you in 26 short minutes, and you can get the video explaining that trade strategy absolutely free by clicking on the image at the top left corner, or if you're on a mobile device, then click on the little eye with a circle around it in the top right corner of this video. And if you're not watching on YouTube, there's probably a link below or an opt-in form on the side. Once you do that, I will personally email the video to you with the rubber band trade strategy.